Today I'm going to be showing you the eight things that I think every person needs in their bathroom. I'll also be going over the tips for when you should be throwing away your cosmetics and toiletries. I don't know about you, but I am in the mood for spring cleaning. I call it the urge to purge, and I get it often when I am just dealing with too much clutter in my life, and I feel like my life is not functional. I am trying to run a business from my home. I also have a lot going on um, in other various parts of my life, and I'm just trying to juggle a lot in a very small space. So I started by cleaning out my closet. I've been working on that for a few days. I got a little waylaid when I realized that some of the tubing for the heat ducts were in my closet still and I probably needed to remove those. So I'll probably be doing a video on that soon, but those all have to come out and I'm really gonna have to do a closet remodel completely, not just a clean out. So back to that later. Next, I decided to just jump into my bathroom. My cosmetics were starting to get old. They've been sitting there for years and I knew that everything just needed to be cleaned out. I was not able to fit everything in my drawers and in my cabinets. And when you're functioning in a small space like I am, it's essential that you keep things organized. I, by nature, am not an organized person in all areas of my life. I just take on too much and I get a little bit cluttered. So. Full disclosure, that's who I am. Uh, but I am trying to always work on it. It is something I don't love about myself. I wish I was more organized. Uh, so I'm always trying. And this year, I just feel like it's a great year now that I'm working from home to take that time to just try to get more organized and to figure out what I need and what I don't need. Now, as far as cosmetics and hair care goes, I am going to go through a quick list of what I use as a barometer for when I should be throwing things away. When you're going through your hair care or cosmetics especially is the consistency, the texture, the smell. If any of that has changed, if it's discolored, you know at that point that it is uh, something that you need to throw away. A lot of products will have expiration dates. You can't always go off of that if you can't find one or you've thrown away the packaging. Now, a few tips for cosmetics or even hair care. Uh, most of the stuff that has been sitting there for six months to a year and you're not sure, just throw it out. It's better safe to just get rid of it. Now, a couple rule of thumb items, mascara, they recommend about every three months. You can normally tell when it starts to get clumpy or dried out um, or that it's just not functioning right on your eyelashes, you know, uh, then you should just get a new one. As far as eyeliner goes, three to six months is a good rule. Lipstick or lip gloss is about once a year. Again, you know when that consistency changes or it gets a little bit of a funny flavor or smell to it. It is definitely time to let that go. As far as brushes and sponges, brushes can last a little bit longer. You have anywhere from one to five years for that. It often depends on the quality of the brush originally and how much you're cleaning them. I am not the best at cleaning my brushes. I try to fairly regularly, but I just go about once every one or two years, I throw them out. Also, if the bristles are starting to spread and they're not giving you that good um, coverage like it should, then you know that that's a good sign to get rid of it. Sponges are a little bit shorter time period just because they can get uh, bacteria buildup in them. Um, three to six months is a good rule for that. Uh, it varies, again, depending on the sponge and how often you're cleaning them, but just take care if it's looking dingy, it's looking a little bit worn, it's time to let it go. going to go over the eight things today that I think you need in your bathroom. This is not a complete list of everything I think you need in your bathroom, but it's definitely the top eight things that I love and would not want to live without right now. Let me make it clear, none of this is sponsored. I have purchased all these items on my own and they are just products that I believe in and use on a regular basis and I feel it could be helpful for you. Now, I do sell a couple of them in my store, in full disclosure, um, but I'm not trying to sell them to you just because I sell them. They really are products that I love and I actually sell because I love them. So let's get right into it. I'm gonna start with the one that I use the most, like on a daily basis. This one is a very unique product. It is something that is um, I found online at some point. It's called Lucas Pawpaw Ointment. It is a fermented papaya fruit. 
and it's all natural. It's and it is a local topical application for boils, burns, chafing, cuts, cracked skin, gravel rash, splinters, open wounds, insect bites, and nappy rash. So if any of those apply to you, that's great. I use it for my lips. I have really dry lips, dry hands, and it is a product that I just keep in my purse by my bedside. If I have cuts, um, anything that needs to be healed, I heal very slowly, and this product is a have to have. I found it, I will never go without it. I do know that they now have a lip uh, balm that is also tinted or colored. I have not tried that. I would be very curious to see if you have tried that before or if you have ever used this product. It's kind of an obscure product, but I love it. Highly recommend it and everybody needs it. Next up, speaking of dry, I have very dry hands. This is a product I do carry in my store. So it is a very, very thick hand cream. You can see that there, that is very, very thick. So, but it's not super oily. So it's one of those that I use, especially times like now when I am um, really, really dry hands. I drink as much water as I can, but it doesn't seem to translate. So thanks to genetics. <laughs> um, but it just leaves my hands super moist without being oily or leaving a film. I'm very picky about that. Uh, it has the freshest smell of oranges. It smells literally like fresh cut oranges. If you love citrus, which sometimes I'm not a fan of, but this one I can totally do because it smells natural. Um, it is a product, cruelty free, uh, no parabens, no sulfates, no EDTA, if that's the kind of stuff you're worried about. It's a rich formula of 20% natural shea butter infused with uh, cloudberry oil, uh, Nordic superfruit. So it is natural, it is a great product, highly recommend it if you have dry hands like myself and you love citrus. We've all heard the adage, an apple a day keeps a doctor away, and in this case, it's in the form of apple cider vinegar. I truly believe this stuff is like a miracle worker. I take it in pill form. You can also take it topically. It comes in a liquid form. If you look on the internet, there are so many uses for this and so many healing properties for the apple cider vinegar in multiple forms. I just take it for digestion and for skin, um, but I'm sure I'm getting other benefits from it that I may not even know about. But this is in the pill form. Now, I know some people say don't keep your medicine in your bathroom due to moisture, but um, I keep it actually in my by my bedside so that I take it every night. But it has made a significant difference and I feel it, um, but highly recommend it. All right, next up, two more products. Yes, I do carry them in my store, but I do carry them because I believe in them and I use them and I love them. I am all about a product that makes life easier. So when I do my makeup, I am not one that wants to spend a lot of time like putting on layers of makeup. Good for you if that's what you do and you love it, awesome. But I like a fairly natural look on a um, limited time. I like to do it in like five minutes, maybe 10 if I'm trying to look really glam. So I use this primer um, shadow stick and it is an amazing product. So I do carry it. I'll link it below if you're interested in purchasing. I don't care if you purchase through me or someone else, you need this product. Um, it has a primer in it. Obviously I've been using this quite a bit so you can see there um, it does get you know it, it twists up if you want and then it has a little sharpener but I tend to like it just rounded so I can just rub it on my eye it has a primer included I have a hard time getting eyeshadows that actually stay true to color on my eyes I don't know if it's the pigment or my skin color but it just does not stay true so these stay really true you can blend them you can layer them so I'll do like a deeper color and then a sparkle color on top um, my favorite is cashmere rose that's what I'm wearing today and it's just like a basic go-to day wear so it looks like you have a little bit of tint of color without feeling overdone or like you have nothing it just evens out your skin tone on your eyelid Highly recommend it. If you get nothing else, get the cashmere rose and maybe a little sparkling pink for some fun days, okay? So these shadow sticks actually come in a variety of colors and they come in both a matte and a satin sheen. So pick up a couple of them, pick up all of them. I don't care which ones you get, but they all are really good. Just pick one that complements your skin tone. Next is the liquid eyeliner. Now, I have used a lot of liquid eyeliners. I've tried many. I've always wanted to do the cat eye. Never could get it quite right. Like it just would not, it was too difficult. The line was always smudgy. It would get caught in my crease. 
it just never looked appropriate. Now, today I have a very subtle cat eye, just a little bit of a wing on there, but this is the easiest, easiest pen I have ever used for making a wing. So it has a very wide to tiny tip on it. So you literally lay it on your eye and draw it across. Makes the perfect line, stays on there forever. I can have allergies, rub my eyes a lot. This is by far my favorite liner, liquid liner I have ever used, especially if you're trying to create that little winged look. So highly recommend it. You need to have this one. Next up is a little bit something outside the box or I guess in the box. Um, this is the Wavy Talk Ionic Hair Dryer. Now, I thought that all hair dryers were created equal and I didn't think it was worth spending a lot of money on a hair dryer. This one is actually not too expensive, especially if you get it on sale like I did, but I have a very difficult time with frizzy hair. I have naturally curly wavy hair and living in the Pacific Northwest where there's a lot of moisture and rain, it is really, really hard to get rid of the frizz in my hair. I've really been struggling with it a lot the last few years, mainly because I think with age, we change. And also my hair has had, um, I use color on my hair. And so over time, it just has gotten frizzier and less smooth and less shiny. Now, I am no hair expert. My hair's not perfect. But if you struggle with the same things that I do or you're looking for a really good hair dryer, this now it has an ionic feature, which I don't know the magic of this, but I always turn it on and use that. And then it has multiple, um, it has multiple heat settings and speeds, and then you actually have a cool feature. It's made my hair so shiny, and I think part of the reason is that it dries faster without getting too hot uh, for my hair. And again, like I said, I have curly hair, it is the Pacific Northwest, so there's a lot of moisture in the air, and the frizz factor is a real thing. And, and it also is a little bit more compact and a little bit lighter to handle when you're drying your hair. Now, I will tell you one drawback to it, the back side of this, if you do have long hair, sometimes gets a little bit snagged in there because of the power of it. It will sometimes um, suck it into that and you have to turn it off and save your hair. Uh, I did that a couple times and then I just got used to doing it at the right angle and it didn't happen again. But just a little warning, uh, if you do buy one and you have longer hair, to be aware of that. It also comes with a diffuser and a narrowed tip that I, for some reason, now that I'm doing this video, cannot find for the life of me. But if you look online, in fact, I'll link it below the link to purchase this, um, and they just snap on. I also will just use it without if I want to give my hair, just like dry it just loosely. Um, and then if I want to use it for diffusing for curl, which this has given me the most amazing curl. I don't know what it does or why, but it just it's it's really good it's a really good product so I highly recommend it if you're looking for a hair dryer and you need a new one alright next up is a product that was actually recommended to me by a friend she is in the medical uh, world and likes to use natural products as much as possible so she I had been struggling with some shoulder pain and neck pain and just going through a lot where I was moving a lot and she highly recommended this product. This is a natural product. It's a rub-on, fast-acting, all-natural natural topical cream for sore muscles and joints. I was skeptical because it's natural. Could it really do what it said? Yes, it does. I love this stuff. I feel like it's a must-have for any bathroom. You can use it daily. So the bottle does recommend for ages 10 and over, um, but just make sure that you consult with a doctor if there's any concern. I highly recommend it. It's a great product, and it has um, come in very helpful and useful many times. Last but not least, one of my favorite products. Again, I have a theme here of dry hands, feet, and lips, apparently. And um, this one, I'm gonna round it out with feet. This it can actually be used on multiple areas that are dry. So uh, let's say it's your elbows or knuckles. This is by a company called Honey House Naturals. It's the Royal Bee Foot Bar, and it is basically almost like a deodorant stick that you roll up. 
Um, this one's actually a new one. I have not used this yet. Uh, again, I sell this one in my store, full disclosure. You can buy it anywhere, but the link is below if you'd like to purchase through me. Um, and it is an amazing product. So I have dry cracked heels, especially during the winter mostly. Um, but I put this on after showering and I might scrub my feet or whatever. And then I just rub that on my heel and on my feet um, all the way around. It leaves my feet so soft. I don't know what it is in this. It's all natural product um, that is fantastic. You just need it. <laughs> Go get it. Go get it. This does come in a few scents. I have the vanilla lavender. It comes in kind of a Hawaiian scent and a peppermint, which is really fresh. That's actually my favorite. Uh, it does come in a natural too if you don't like a scent and it smells just like beeswax because that is one of the main components in it. This is a not water-based lotion. So I know that it is good for some of those who have health issues that need a uh, non-water-based product. So that's a break for that. Thanks for joining me today, guys. As usual, please subscribe below if you found this interesting or you'd like to see more content from me. I would love to hear from you also if you try any of these products or if you have products in your home that you feel like are a must-have in any bathroom.